Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to the session on JSON setup. So in this session, I am going to explain how to um, set up uh, JSON to your Eclipse. So there are different ways we can uh, set up uh, JSON in our Eclipse. But uh, let us go ahead with uh, one by one. So before we go ahead with, I want to show you from where we can get the JSON uh, jar files. So go to this uh, Maven repository and from this URL, you can download the JSON jar. So here you can see artifact download jar. Click on it. It is going to download the jar file. So, so this is the first way. Uh, this is uh, this is the first way of you can set up uh, JSON your local using the Java project. Okay. So now if I go here and um, see, let me go to my Eclipse. I am going to create a Java project. I'm giving us name JSON project and click finish. Now I need to include JSON a jar file to this project so that I can uh, go ahead and work on this project. Okay, so go to the properties and where uh, we go to java build path and uh, click on libraries click on add external libraries and uh, give the path where you have uh, downloaded this uh, json 1.4 jar file click open and then ok now our uh, project is ready to work with the JSON. So this is the one way how you can uh, set up uh, JSON using the Eclipse by downloading the jar. But if you are working with, uh, if you are using any build tools like a Maven or the Gradle, then what you need to do is in the case of Maven, we need to include the dependency for the Maven in the pom.xml. Now, if you are working with the, any build tool like a Maven, then copy this content where we have the uh, dependency. I'm just uh, going to highlight that content. Just to copy this content and paste it in the uh, pom.xml in the dependency session. So that once you clean and build it automatically, this jar will be downloaded to your Maven dependencies, uh, Maven repositories. This is the one way you can, if you are working with the Maven, this is how you need to add this um, dependency to your pom.xml. But if you are working with the uh, Gradle, then what you need to do is you need to add the dependency in the build.gradle file where you need to specify this group and uh, the name and version. Then when you clean and build the Gradle project, the jar automatically it will be downloaded to your uh, dependency uh, list okay so this is the three ways you can uh, three are if you, even if you're working with the multiple uh, um, build tools based on that you can go ahead and uh, add the uh, uh, dependency uh, in your corresponding build uh, uh, tools so that this automatically it will be added to your project so that you can go ahead and work with this um, JSON so I'm just trying to go ahead and show you what is the jar we have included is if you go to the JRE system, this is the default uh, JISIS, but a reference library is going to be JSON 1.4. So this is the basic uh, um, basic uh, JSON jar we have set up. So now I'm going to show uh, I'm going to show you a basic sample program to work with the JSON. So let us go ahead and create a class and uh, here package I am going to give com.javatechy.json and uh, file name I am giving as JSON testing. I would like to have a main method in this class clicking on the checkbox and then click on finish. Now in order to convert a, JS, a Java object into a corresponding JSON, you need to have a class defined. 
that is json json equal to new json this is the class it is going to help you to convert json object into uh, sorry java object into json so import com.google.json now what you can do is i am going to create a array i am just going to show you in detail in the next tutorials but i uh, just want to show you how exactly this uh, json is going to help you to convert a java object into the json i'm just going to show you the demo at high level for example i have created a integer array now what my intention is i need to convert this one into a json format so it is very simple go to the json dot to json and just pass the array and automatically this will be converted into the json for uh, equivalent representation of the json so i'm just going to run this program and uh, go ahead run as java application now you can see this has been converted into a json representation so we are going we have seen it a, a basic program how to convert primitive data types in from the java uh, to a equivalent uh, json representation in the next couple of tutorials we will see how to uh, how to work with the uh, most of the predefined uh, data types in the J java as well as for the user defined objects thanks for watching if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video and please subscribe for to get more updates on um, from my technical uh, tutorials thanks for watching